What's up everybody? Happy Friday. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is out even though it was four degrees today. No wind. Snow still on the ground as you see. But today we are going to throw this starter in the Hydrema. As you guys just saw it was click 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 click. And then all of a sudden it will turn over and fire. Been dealing with this since I've owned this. I've had the this starter rebuilt. Uh, and it still did it the day as soon as I brought it home, but I wasn't gonna go back and complain Because it does fire up after like sometimes it's 10 clicks. Sometimes it's one click Sometimes it's no clicks for two weeks straight But it's annoying especially if you got someone in here that doesn't know how to run it and if you hold it too far It's gonna pop a fuse. So Fridayparts.com they hooked me up with this starter. Like I said this starter was $800. That's why I was getting it rebuilt these guys are a third of that price. So not to take anything away from the dealers, but FridayParts.com are all genuine parts uh, right from factory. So you're kind of cutting the middleman out. Check them out, FridayParts.com. Let's get to it. First things first is always before any mechanics is safety, we're going to disconnect the battery. And we are going to put our safety pin in there to keep this bad boy from coming down and crushing me. Uh, what we have here is the starter is pretty easy to get to. These are just four bolt holes. This access panel. Um, this whole thing pops off too with rubber garments, which I'll probably pick it up and slide out of the way. Um, there's a little lever here. Starter's down in there. So that little panel, as you see right here, gets me right to that starter. But like I said, this whole bonnet comes right off too. It's just in four things and I usually slide it back to here and it gives you full access to the motor Kudos to Hydrema for that. You could manually disconnect the battery which is in here or I got a battery disconnect And that also just cuts the power. We'll get that off Just pop up on this and it gets your four. I already released them. There's just four little circles Take this, I slide it back. She can be awkward by yourself. It's obviously easier with two people but it can be done by yourself just slide her enough back so you can work in there that should do it that should do it let me get a little more all right as you see, you get great access. There's your alternator, all your exhaust, starter right here, transmission, all your filters on that side. So I could get to it like this still, but I'm gonna pull this to make it easier. Four bolts, just little camp jobbies. There she is, panel off. Now, as you can see, everything is exposed. And this bonnet, like I said, would have been right here where my arm is. So still had a perfect access panel, but I'd like to check everything out before the season and make sure there's no leaks. So that's why I pulled that off. And here's the little rubber doobies that it sits on. We got three bolts here. Gonna be a uh, 15 mil. One there, one there, and one on top. Simple and easy, but let's get the electrical off because you know how that goes. Uh, you pull these, and next thing you know, you rip something. So we just got a couple little tabs. Take pictures if you don't remember how this goes back together. Always helps. Kind of interesting setup here they got. But we're going to get this little uh, this nut or bolt off this end first to relieve the electrical components just a little doobie that goes inside of a big doobie take the 17 hit it off there and this goes on the end of the stud pretty cool setup easy and she's all disconnected there it is these three went remember on this end and this one was the main one and i had a plug that was it one plug that's all it looks like. All right, then we're ready for the three bolts. There's one. Let's 
it says can't get much easier i mean you in my dump truck you, you want to try to replace the starter on there you can't even get your hands in between the frame rail that's a bad setup on that uh kenworth just drop that nut in the snow gotta love working outside in the northeast last nut here let's get it loose She broke loose. I can see the. There she comes. Probably should have took this bottom one off first. Let me just put this one on here to hold that up for myself. Hang on with you. Come on. Come on. We're on camera now. Let's go. See, this is the part you edit out. Spin that on. And we'll get this bottom on. Because otherwise, you'll be fighting the starter of the weight. I drop this one too. Try to keep my hands out of the way from the camera view for you guys, and it uh gets difficult sometimes as I'm shaking the camera with my wrist. There we go. That's that. Hang on to the startup. Spin the original one on back off, and she should be loose. Let's not drop anything here as they come out. Set these wires back here. I'm gonna go nice and easy. Come on. All right. She's out, but she's hooked in. Something else is hooked in. Hang on. All right, we probably got enough room to wiggle out of there. We're hitting the heat shield on the exhaust. Um, but I do have a negative terminal in the back that's hitting the exhaust. So... We're going to try to finagle this out and get that wire off. Should be able to spin that away. Come on now. Come on now. Don't make a liar out of me. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. That should come right out. We're going to go back in. We're going to pull that back ground. Just pull it, even though that stud is long there. We'll see what happens. I've got to remind myself to get that nut down in the snow. drop it now if you say don't drop it it won't drop but if you just don't say that at all hey it will drop i even got the washer nice all right let's try to get her now give a wiggle and a jiggle a spin oh she's out there she is to the look it looks good but like i said that clicking Hopefully it is a starter. I mean, like I said, I got it rebuilt. They said it was tip top, but who's to say? Friday parts hooked me up. We'll give it a whirl. All right, let's see if this is gonna go in any easier than it can go. Come on, baby. You gotta remember the right spin combination, right? Come on. remember the combo we are on like the 40th combination <laughs> oh i can't get it in unbelievable all right i cheated i had to take the heat shield off i don't remember taking that off before when uh i put this in but that should give me enough room unless that stud's gonna give me trouble which i don't think so we well, should be able to get it now all right let's give it a whirl Man, that stud is in my way. I think I'll still be able to get it though. Come on. Get in there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm in from the top now. Oh 
man, it ain't like this starter uh, light. It's a heavy little girl. Oh, it's hitting that stud. Look at that. What is the chances? Oh, come on. Oh, there goes another part. Hang on. I think we're getting somewhere now. Somewhere close. Come on. We're still wedged into over here. But it's closer. If I just get. Which way is that? I'm going to rotate this to me. i got to get that one stud in there. Come on. Oh, my Lord. There we go. Oh, there we go. I was about to. It just was like, it has to be the perfect combination oh, to get past this stud and this flange and the exhaust. I was about to flip. I had to cut the video and say a few choice words. All right, well, I lost one of these on the ground. I'll have to go get that, but let's get this first one on and go from there. Get that heat shield back on and get everything hooked back up the way it was and give it a test there's two i mean it's an easy starter like i said the axis is good it's just the uh the, the chances of that was crazy and again it's one of those deals that it, you could do it on the first try or on the 10th you know what i mean unfortunately it took me 10 but let's get them parts down below hopefully we can find them Oh, where are you? Where, where are you? Oh, there you are. Of course you, land, of course you land in the rocks and camouflage in. You couldn't just land on the snow. Nope. Give us one last snug. Then my three uh, will be on and onto the electrical side. Uh, there's three. Got the pigtail here. That and I could set like that for now. I think it was over in there, but we gotta get it out of harm's way for now. Around. Very important. If you didn't put that on, you're not starting. Get that snugged up, and then on to the. Then this went on. I'm tighten that up now because it will make the other part spin if we don't. All right. Then we had some accessories right here. Where they, I think there was one. There was another one. That's why you got to take a picture. Let's see here. Is there another one here? Nope, that's not that. So maybe there was just two. I'll have to go back and look, but I only... I swear there was three. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see. Oh yeah, there's three. It's in there. All right. I don't know, that's two. Huh. Let me look around here. Deet, 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 deet. Well, no, but she won't fire up. I think that was it. Huh. That's it. And we'll tighten this, put the heat shield back on, and fire it up before we start putting panels back on. Because you, you know how that goes. Put all the panels on and she don't work. Now I told you there was three. This was right where the camera was. That's why I couldn't see it. I knew there was. Come on now. Let's get that one back on. I had the camera on it and I wasn't going to move the camera. I wouldn't do that to you guys. But I had a suspicion there was more than one just one wire. Let's go under that. We'll put that up like that. Yeah, she definitely wouldn't have started. That's probably the key switch right there. Mm -hmm. 
I love it when the sun's out and no wind. I mean, it's been brutal. I've been hiding. I've been hiding. Just wishing I was in a different southern state. Oh. All right, that's all in. Heat shield going on nicely. Let's get the battery. Disconnect back on. Break it, it's only plastic. Huh. She's an arcing. I heard an arc. Does it go up? There, it goes up. Okay. Alright, she's in. Well, I just literally smoked something. I heard a huge puffin. This thing was on fire. <laughs> oh, which will chase the wires back to here. Which just tells me. I got something hooked up backwards. The only thing I can hook up backwards is this ground in the posit. I'm gonna have to trace that back, but I don't think. Oh my lord, there's no way I had that backwards. What else could it be? I'll have to trace it. I'll get back with you guys. Well, this is quite embarrassing. I'll admit it when I'm wrong. <laughs> I had the wires backwards. I should have noticed because known because I scrubbed this one before. But again, the camera down here, I ain't making no excuses, but for some, I flipped these wires around to try to move them out when, for the heat shield. I had the hot and the, the negative and the positive and the wrong. I don't think anything happened to the starter because I didn't turn the key on or nothing, but I did have a big puff of smoke coming out of these wires up to the alternator. Not sure if that's going to cause anything. Um, I'll have to inspect that in a minute I'll, I'll fire it up right now to see if it fires up but i don't know how, what what caused those what caused that puff of smoke in the wires put the shut off back on this is when the smoke as soon as i turned it i heard an arc and it went poof, and it was i don't know if i caught it on camera i'll know when i edit it but it come out of this section right here and it lit up and i'm just gonna i'm gonna Sniff this right now and see if I smell any burnt wires. Worst case, the wire is just fried or blew a fuse. Um, like I said, we didn't turn nothing off. <laughs> well, it's fired up, but you heard that clicking on the third time. It's still clicking, so that other starter is good. Oh, wow. So the next place I'm going to trace is in that alternator where those wires go up because I, that's the only spot I haven't looked. And because those wires smoked, I was feeling them. And where it connects into the alternator, it is almost like the, the eyelets around the alternator are kind of uh, broke. That could be, it's something loose somewhere. I thought for sure it was this in the, in the starter right here. Needless to say, I got a brand new starter in it. I got a spare starter, so we'll go from there. All right. So after poking and prying, you know, and I checked all these wires and I actually disconnected them and it still started up and everything. So it's nothing to do with that. It's this wire I traced back, which would be the key switch wire. I mean, it could be in the key switch itself. Maybe I'll order a new key switch. But then I started following this wire back and I found some gangster stuff. I mean, we're straight out gangster right there. Look at all those splices. So that was all wrapped in tape, which it's wrapped in tape from right here all the way back to these uh, splices, you know, there's four. So what happened is obviously this wire was got hot it melted on the exhaust right there and then they taped it all the way I still got a lot more to go with the tape but I could almost guarantee one of those connections are probably bad I'm not gonna tear into this now because of the time of day and I want to be able to get some video of us ripping around in the snow because you can't work on a truck without testing it you know what I mean that's just illegal to do that in a video for sure so we're gonna get this thing all back together and fire it up, have some fun. You knew I couldn't put it back together without doing more diagnostics. So I unhooked all this, got the wire up on top and this one was like half in, half out. I kept tugging on it and found a loose one. 
But uh, not to say that that wasn't connected. I tugged on it pretty good. But you look at these connections from there to there. So obviously it was in the span right where that muffler was, or the exhaust pipe coming out. And it burnt. And then they connected all new wires. And I'm assuming this is obviously where the problem lays or lies. Oh, there's one that's loose right there. And I didn't even touch it. It was just hanging on by a thread. So that's probably it. I'm going to have to put... I'm going to get this all cleaned up, cut this wire off, do some more due diligence here, and um, let's just cut this all together. <laughs> cut this down. We'll put new wire in it. We're going to put new connectors and new wire in it. So, to be continued when I get all the stuff I need. Let's get this off. I think I should have. There we go. Nice sharp blade. The wire probably good, but who knows if it's long enough now. After I put new connectors on it. It's a nice heavy gauge wire here. But that definitely goes back to the key. One of them, anyways. And what will now with this one off, we're gonna test it actually. That will give me an idea. If it doesn't start at all with that one wire that was loose off, then that was definitely the problem. Let's get this cut. No cutting ourselves. Ooh, that's, he really got into it there. Thick. Come on. Pull apart. There we go. So that's two wires, two different wires that were loose. So we got this one here, and then that one there. So two wires that were loose. Like I said, this one was probably in, and I really yanked on that one, but this one I didn't even touch. And uh, it's definitely corroded. I know you guys can't see that, but it's blue in there. Aqua, whatever color that is. Um, and there was water under the tape on this end. So like I said, that went through under that exhaust. It must have got hung up there at one point. Something, somebody was working on something and then moved it and then, you know, over the years. So we're going to put new wires on there and I guarantee that's the problem. So we got a new starter anyways. And you got to thank, uh, again, FridayParts.com. Make sure you guys go on that site. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but now I got two good starters. So it is what it is on that part. Just got to get it done right now. There's only a couple wires. I just looked at them all. It's only a couple that are, uh, or the two that were bad. The other ones looked all good. So we're just going to strip this, put a new end on it, and just test it. It will let me know right away if it's bad or not. It won't, it will just click a couple times. I mean, sometimes you get lucky. I said, like, sometimes it will go a while, two weeks without even making a click. And that must have been just the way the wire was in there and just vibrating. But all these wires get connected all at the starter at the same point. So theoretically, I could solder all these wires together and lose the connections, which this is just a temporary to see if it works. And if it does, maybe I will solder all that. You just get a, a, a union, a copper union, put them all in it and then fill the whole thing right with solder. All four on that end and all four on that end, and then it'll be good to go. Ah. Ah. Dang it! Thought I had it. Got it all back together. It's still clicking, as you heard, but all those wires are pretty good, I mean. I would, I mean, it could be another one of those connections. I mean, look how many there is. I mean, you got four on each side, so. But at least the two that I fixed are fixed good. Um, if anybody has any idea what that is, any starter experts, it's got to be the key switch is what I'm going to now at this point. Um, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts anyways. Um, like I said, I... I'm traced back to that point. That goes to the key. There is four wires there. Now all four don't go to the key. It could be the 
whatever it could you know other accessories like the radio or whatnot but um it could be the key switch itself too maybe i'll diagnose that i'll take that apart maybe there's a corrosion some corrosion going on there and i'll bypass it and uh get into that point but that part is up up above i think we're safe to say it's not down in here it's definitely not the starter um so we could put the bonnet back on here and uh still uh go have some fun right My dad's the best. <laughs> 